that night you hear the rivers they run like buffalo take me back high above myself take me to my wonderland
We both started in the world of classical music as yes. as young children, not together, obviously different cities and all that, but um, my life experience has taken me into the recording studio with rock bands and Latin groups and all kinds of different things, and, and then into the jazz world as well. Well, I have to tell you a secret. I guess it's not a secret anymore, but when we got together after 35 <laughs> years, Mike handed me a CD of his playing, and I'd never actually heard him play. And I remember sitting in the driveway and putting this CD in going, God, I hope this is good. Because, <laughs> you know, if, if you don't feel the same way musically. Bad, we can't be friends. We can't be friends. Yeah. yeah. But when we actually tried playing our instruments together, it was unbelievable, the chemistry. I mean, we just felt we breathed the same, we feel music the same way, and that's a very, very rare thing.
from St. Bride's on the Cape Shore and Aaron's from Central and uh, started listening to the music and hearing it a lot growing up and was into a, con, a pile of other things and then when we find, when I finally came into St. John's to go to university I uh, started playing down around downtown area and met up with Aaron and we kind of realised that we had a few traditional tunes and songs that were not recorded or nobody kind of knew them and uh, we decided to stem off a band from that. It just so happened out his, his way he found more songs and out my way I found more Instrumental achievements yeah. and stuff, so work out. Yeah. What is it about fish you may never have been to see, never eaten or seen? Fish that shape your destiny, that's the thing about fish.
We've heard all the stories and folk songs that tell us how people survived here throughout the years. And how the poor families of laboring fishermen got by on nothing but blood, sweat, and tears. What is it about fish that haunts the soul that wanders here and takes us back to a bleaker time, one more severe? That's the thing about fish. If you read your history, you know that it's always been said how hard done by we are. So oft repeated, we've come to believe it. So we stand still and wonder why we never get far. What is it about fish that makes us want to give it all away, whatever we are? It's fish that brought us where we are today. That's the thing about fish. We just have to cast a glance over our shoulder at the trail of false prophets who've led us far wrong. Be wary of those blaring patriot trumpets as though there was doubt about where we belong. What is it about fish and how our story has been told? Now it's all about oil. Hydro, iron, or nickel and gold They don't smell like fish It brought us here from distant lands Now we're under the flake Trying to scrub the smell off our hands That's the thing about fish The strength that we gain from the journey we've taken The loved ones we've lost to the treacherous foam The pride that we share in the land of our forebears Good fortunes we seek in the comforts of home What is it about fish? Ancient symbol of Christian love Feeds body and soul from motions ruled by God above that's the thing about fish you may never have been to see, never read nor see. Fish that shaped your destiny. That's the thing about fish. That's the thing about fish. That's the thing about fish. That's the thing about fish.
couple of years ago, I really wanted to work with the trio for a pianist. This is kind of a really exciting setup because you get to play the melody and you know you have way more way more roles within the within the trio than in a quartet or a larger setting right so i wanted to start a trio and i wanted it to be a canadian trio after i moved here and uh nick fraser and andrew came to mind immediately i knew them from the from the scene in toronto and i just i, I just loved playing with them and i knew they were the right players for this project
Time flew by like every town She didn't stop to look around Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountains Where the sun shines like gold At night you hear the rivers They run like buffalo first started um, before anybody actually lived on Flower Hill. And <laughs> Sherry and Geraldine Hollett and myself uh, decided to get together and start playing music. Um, and that was the first configuration of Flower Hill. And then Geraldine went on to join some band, don't know if you heard of them, called The Once. And uh, <laughs> then um, we asked Darren, our friend Darren Brown, to, to play music with us. And so Darren Brown played, and then we got Dave Rowe on board to play bass. And then Maria joined us. And Sherry and I spent some time thinking, reminiscing about how great it was to have three female vocalists and, and you know, instrumentalists in one group. And um, so we kind of went back to that original, original thought. <laughs> name is Bobby And I've done nothing much a note But you may have heard a thing or two About some postcards that I wrote And I have been the whole world over I've wandered and roamed and Lately I've been thinking That it's time for heading home And I was just a child When I flew away and the tears upon my brother's face, they haunt me to this day. And when I get back home, I will take him in my arms and say, Mike, it wasn't your fault that he did me so much harm. Cause what is love except to falter? What is love except to hope? What is love except to trust enough to let somebody go? Now I'm sorry I've been gone Gone away so long I'm sure that you tried to forget And I hope that you moved on But you were brave When I was afraid And you did what you knew you had to do To keep me safe Cause what is love except to falter what is love except a hope? 
What is love except to trust enough to let somebody go? up my wagon I'm heading for the hills there must be one more magic run inside these rusty wheels my name is Bobby and I've done nothing much a note but I've just mailed my final postcard cuz tonight I'm heading home cuz what is love except to falter what is love except to hope what is love except to trust enough to let somebody go? What is love except to falter? What is love except to hope? What is love except to trust enough to let somebody go?
when I was about 18 or 19, I was feeling pretty uh, depressed and I went and hung out with one of my friends and we got pizza and some popsicles and <laughs> what else, you know, whatever, just to cheer ourselves up. And we were reminiscing about, you know, being younger. And then I went home and I was like, oh, I just started playing this guitar riff. And then I was like, I'm just going to start singing some random lyrics. And then it just happened. And then from there, I just started writing and songwriting and singing and performing and that's how it began. <laughs> My songs are pretty personal. A lot of the music I wrote on the album that I just put out called Safe and Sound. Um, they were about all of my experiences that I had in Boston with interpersonal relationships with people, um, about my music, about my, you know, mental health, and also some of the songs that are on there I wrote a few years ago, which have a lot to do with that, but I've reworked them and made them into what they are today. Um, so I'm pretty proud of the stuff I've written because it means a lot to me and people seem to really connect with that too. These days I'm unkind to myself These thoughts have shaken my heart Blue veins tie me to my bed frame Vacant stairs taking up my Shut 